Following the recent devastating losses of the Ukrainian Air Force, a Ukrainian legislator has expressed serious concerns about the future transfer of F-16 fighter jets from Western countries to Ukraine, fearing they might suffer the same fate as the Su-27 jets destroyed at the Mergorod Air Base. On July 1, a Russian drone identified six Sukhoi Su-27 fighters of the Ukrainian Air Force openly stationed on the tarmac at the Mergorod Air Base, home to the 831st Tactical Aviation Brigade, located about 150 kilometers southwest of the border in central Ukraine. Seizing the opportunity, a Russian Iskander ballistic missile was launched, resulting in the destruction of two of the valuable supersonic fighters and damaging the other four. This incident could be one of the most costly days for the Ukrainian Air Force since Russia expanded its military operations in February 2022. Ukrainian Air Force spokesman Colonel Yuri Ignat confirmed the attack which was widely reported by both Russian and Ukrainian telegram channels. As a result of the attack, two Su-27s were destroyed and four others were seriously damaged due to cluster munitions. The following day, on July 2, 2024, a Russian drone monitored the Ukrainian Poltava Air Base, located east of Mergorod and 160 kilometers from the border. After hours of surveillance by the drone, an Iskander missile struck, damaging a Ukrainian Army Milmi-24 attack helicopter. Since last autumn, Russian raids on Ukrainian bases have intensified, resulting in significant losses for the Ukrainian Air Force. These attacks have so far destroyed two Su-27 fighters, two MiG-29 fighters, a Su-25 attack aircraft, and possibly a Mi-24 helicopter. The increasing frequency and success of these raids highlight a crucial issue, the lack of effective air defenses, leaving Ukrainian bases vulnerable to Russian drone and missile attacks. According to Ukrainian reports, a Russian drone loitered over the Mergorod Air Base for nearly three hours, gathering intelligence before launching an Iskander missile strike. An Orlan 10 drone was indeed flying over the town about 5 kilometers away, directing the subsequent missile strikes. Although the Sofa Assault Brigade contested the number of damaged aircraft claimed by the Russians, it acknowledged the troubling fact that the drone operated over Mergorod for an extended period, targeting and recording the aftermath of the attack. This raises a crucial question, why did Ukrainian air defenses not target the drone on either day? The Russian drone might possess advanced radio frequency, visual, and audio stealth characteristics, making it difficult to detect and target. One of the drones regularly used is the Albatros M5 flying wing. The Albatros M5 reconnaissance drone, with a wingspan of 3.3 meters, can fly for 4.5 hours, at a maximum altitude of 5 kilometers, and with a range of 300 kilometers. It can be transported in a car or carried by one person, with flight preparations taking no more than 10 minutes. The Albatros's electro-optical sensors are ineffective in cloudy weather, but in our case study, this is insignificant as the weather was clear over Mergorod on July 1st and 2nd during the Russian strikes.
The recent attacks on Ukrainian airfields over two consecutive days have prompted Ukrainian legislators to express serious concerns about the safety of incoming F-16 fighter jets. Mariana Bazula, a deputy of the Verkhovna Rada, raised these concerns on her Telegram channel, particularly addressing the commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Alexander Syrsky. Bazula criticized the lack of aircraft shelters at Ukrainian airfields and the overall state of air defense.